Hello, hello, and welcome to the Ultimate Tarot Guide Tutorials. These episodes are going to take a look at each tarot card, going over the correspondences for each card found in my book, The Ultimate Tarot Guide for Your Personal Tarot Journey. This book is available at Amazon in print and Kindle. This book takes you on an inspirational, magical journey into the realm of tarot. We're going to leave traditionalism and mediocrity behind. We're also going to open doors and expand horizons to reveal amazing connections with the tarot and its intimate influence on our world. As you make your way through this tarot study, you will develop a very unique and personal connection with the tarot and a deeper understanding of yourself. The deck I will be using throughout this tarot study guide is Vintage Tarot. I recommend that any deck you use be closely associated with the traditional Rider White deck with the major arcanas and suits found therein. So, with that said, grab a cup of coffee and pull up a chair. We're going to sit around the table and explore each tarot card. We're going to explore intuitive reading and we're going to learn how to tap into our intuitive side and listen to our clairs. And we'll pull more from a tarot card than you ever thought possible. With that said, off we go. This is episode 15. The card for today is the Page of Wands. The element for this page is fire. Keywords, temperamental, quick-tempered, outspoken, opinionated, industrious, well-meaning, flamboyant, gregarious, super sensitive. So as I look at the card in my hand right now, this page is holding onto their wand with both hands. It's like this page is afraid of, of losing something. This page goes through life, especially the early part of life, just terrified of losing something. And if it's something that really is close to their heart, this page also has the unusual capacity to, what do I want to say? <laughs> How do I want to say this? Um, they can love someone dearly, they can want, want attention from someone, but there's just something stubborn about this page that doesn't, he doesn't want the world to see the soft side of him. So he will appear very abrupt and quick-tempered and surly, and, and it just um, will put a lot of people off. It gives the impression that he's cold and he doesn't like people, but actually this page is just so overwhelmed by the sensitivity within themselves and they're so afraid of getting hurt and they're hurt so easily but they don't want the world to know this so this is like a page who masquerades as a as a surly old asshole and <laughs> and is very nasty and abrupt the thing is that this is the kind of individual who will cry when they're alone when no one's around they will let their emotions out because you know I guess the vessel can only hold so much and then it's got to go and sad but true this is the kind of character who will cry when they're alone uh, the positive side of this page they are so industrious there is not a lazy bone in this body he is a wonderful employee He's, um, he or she is a wonderful parent. They're, they're just so good at organizing and getting things done. And they're so industrious. And they seem to have, have endless energy. So let's get our tarot journals out and let's look at the card. I'm looking at the card in my hand. The three mountains to the one side of this page. For, this is a type of, of individual who's going to have many things, many obstacles in life to overcome one after the other after the other. And it's going to be a process for many of them until they get to a certain point and life will smooth out. And part of the reason life smooths out is that they start to learn to relax and to put down this barrier and this wall that they put up. This, this impatient kind of unpleasant mannerisms and and outspokenness and sharpness they kind of learn to put that aside and then all of a sudden um, life smooths out for them when they stop fighting it when this page stops fighting life they smooth out for them and that's what i'm seeing from my card and that's what's going in my tarot journal so you get your pens ready 
get those clairs going. What do you see when you look at your card? What do you feel? What do you hear? What's the little voice in your head say? How do you feel about it? Get, gotta get that down. I know I'm going to be doing that in my tarot journal today, right now at this moment, while everything is fresh. I'm delighted to have introduced you to the Page of Wands today. And as always, until the next time and until the next video, bye-bye.